So I think I've reached a point where I think I have bad luck. Not so much in the sense that I'm accident prone, more so that my timing is the worst. And I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time situation. But take that with a grain of salt. I'm talking about everyday inconveniences, not major events of history. And sometimes my luck is so bad that I start to believe that the phenomena that is Murphy's first law is true. Murphy's first law is essentially the thought that anything that can go wrong will go wrong, which is a very negative way of thinking now that I'm thinking about it. But sometimes I feel it's true. Like, I can have a day where you do one thing that irritates you and then do more little things that irritate you and you just become more irritated. Yeah. I'm becoming more susceptible to those days. I get the whole, you don't have to let your whole day become bad just because one bad thing happens. I'm all for it. It's much more productive to plan your next move than dwelling on the past. I'm pretty sure I sold that line from a Spy Family episode, but it has a lot of meaning so I'm keeping that one for motivation. It's just sometimes difficult to keep a positive outlook when you accidentally ram your foot into something and then a couple minutes later hit your knee while standing up from a table to get food just to find the food that you were going to get was eaten by someone. There's only so much positivity in myself and I can't say that hitting my leg was a learning experience so I don't do it next time because I'm aware the table is there so I don't hit myself but I don't have any bodily awareness. Even though I know the table is there, my body will still have the audacity to hit it. Okay so I'm gonna add this here because it kind of makes sense for this video. I've been an avid mask wearer for a while since the pandemic first hit and I'm wearing masks at work as well. Now keep in mind that when I wrote this script it was still winter time so everyone was getting colds and flus, covid, who knows. The one time I leave my mask at home and go into work, blam, someone gets hit with covid, blam, a couple of people are negative but we're sick. Even one of my managers said the one time I work with you without a mask and a bunch of people get sick. Could you guess what happens next? I indeed get sick. Luckily though, I caught my symptoms early, so I prevented a good amount of it and only experienced congestion, but gosh dang. I'm also very much a person you wouldn't want to ask to make a choice between things. If we were in line and it eventually splits into two, don't ask me to choose which line, because I will 99% of the time pick the slower one. Even if I think I'm gonna choose one and then choose the opposite one, hoping it would counteract my bad luck, nope, it'll still be the slower of the two. Bro, even walking is frustrating sometimes. Walking in a crowded place is pretty much like driving. You can pass people who are slow, but not me apparently, because my luck will prevent it. It sounds weird when I say it, but this is what I mean. You're in a crowded place, so there's people everywhere. You're stuck behind a slow walker, so you just want to pass them by going around. Cool, this is how my luck usually takes it. Crowded place, slow walker, Try to go around, slow walker shifts to be in the front, no biggie, go the opposite direction. Another person going the opposite direction appears, making me go back behind the slow walker. Now when I have the chance to actually pass them up, the person behind me swoops in and takes the small opening I had to pass the slow walker. And now at this point, it's probably just better to walk behind the slow person. That has happened to me more times than being able to walk normally. There's nothing we can do about it. It's crowded, so there's only so much movement people can do. But it's just the inconvenience. Speaking of which, I live in a very agricultural area, so it's pretty normal to have tractors driving around, large trucks carrying produce and train tracks and stuff. Sometimes you can get stuck driving behind them, unless you're me, you get all of them at once. Tractors can't go that fast. like. 10 miles an hour kind of speed and that's on an actual road sometimes a road that's usually 55 miles per hour well normally if you get stuck behind one you just wait till the road has dotted lines so you can pass them up well i would if it was attainable for me plus not only am i stuck behind a tractor but i tend to also get stuck behind a semi truck and an oversized load vehicle while we're at it i'm an anxious driver so trying to pass all those vehicles on a one-way street is terrifying but of course it would be my luck that out of the entire day I just happen to be behind all of them. It's like I manifest the little inconveniences that happen because I'm already expecting them. <sighs> I gotta stop thinking negatively because it's really pulling my mood down. Just know if we ever meet in person, just make sure to bring some good luck charms. You know, just in case.